All right, so you really want to create a card with linear border. So to do that, you first head over to your HTML file, add a card div, add some heading, some paragraph, and then add the main thing that is a div with a class of card background. Now you may ask saying, why do we need a background, but we need a border instead? So the reason for having this card background is because the CSS border property doesn't really allow us to have linear gradient border colors. So to have custom effects, you need to have a custom div, in this case, the card background. Then we head over to our CSS and then add our body to have full width and height, add everything at the center using display grid, add background and color, style the H2 and card with two different fonts, in this case, Acme and Poppins, and then give the card width, padding, set its position to relative, which we're gonna be needing just in a bit, and then set the background color same as that of the body to hash triple two. And then we give it some nice little curves, padding bottom of 20 pixels, and then give some styles to the H2 and also paragraph, and then start with the card background. So for the card background, we set its position to absolute, and then give the background as the linear gradient background. So we set it as two right, basically moving from one color to other from the right hand side, so first we have the blue and then we have the purple color. And then we set its inset to minus five pixels, meaning that take the entire width and height, but make sure to take five pixels extra from the boundaries, meaning that from top you take minus five, and then also from left, right, and bottom. And then we give a Z index of negative five, which makes it go underneath the card element so that it kind of appears as the border. And then you can add a border radius and if you wanna have more styling, you can add an animation. In this case, we set it as animate. We run for five seconds that it runs infinitely. And to make it work, you need to add the background size of 400% for X and 400% for Y, and then define the keyframes. In this case, we have three steps, 0%, 50%, and 100%. So the animation starts at a background position of 00, zero and ends at 00. zero but when it is sort of at 50%, it has the background position of 200% for X and also 200% from Y. And with that, you have an amazing animated border card in just a few minutes. If you like the video, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and check the description for the source code. Thanks for watching.